All right, what's up, Scorpio? How are you? Let me grab my little bowl real quick to just clear out the energy. Quick messages for my Scorpio. Okay, I'm getting two separate, we're, we're going two separate ways here. So the first thing that I'm picking up on is something, and it's not the worst, give me a second. Something that you guys were planning or wanted to do it's like it, it didn't work out or there's a possibility that it might not work out but not just not work out it might not be at the time that you want it to happen it's like there's more planning that's needed to get this off the ground or to get this going because the visual that i just got was let's say i know this is gonna sound weird but let's say y'all broke up with somebody or someone broke up with you you know put yourself where you need to go um and let's say you didn't want them but then last minute or like four weeks after you didn't want them, you're like, oh, you know what? I think I do want them. I think I do want to reach out to them. I think I do want to talk to them at least. You go to talk, you send that message and you're blocked. And it's like, fuck. But you know, that doesn't mean it's impossible to get in touch with this person. But it's like, now you got to plan and think like, do you really want to do this? So all I'm going to say, Scorpio, is in the two of wands is right there. If something seems like it doesn't go your way this month or something just did not go your way, just know that man's rejection is God's protection. It does not mean that it's still not going to happen. I mean, for some of you guys, it just might not be meant for you. For others, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. I just feel like God has something better for you and that's needed to be known. Okay, so don't fret. That's what I just heard. Okay, for my Scorpio sun moon rising venus oh yeah and then the other energy that i was getting i kept getting the song ready to get it started bitch i got no sense i only need a plug i don't know like i keep seeing somebody i wish y'all could see like what i'm seeing because i'm getting like techno even though that's not a techno song i'm getting techno i'm getting the glasses i'm getting that little dude Ah, that was the Chipotle meme. But there was this little boy that was in the club and like the glasses and he's just like moving. Y'all can't see me, but I'm just, I'm getting it. So I don't know, maybe there's a lot of partying, a lot of going out. Um, let's see, what's going on with my Scorpio? What's the energy around my Scorpios right now? Nine of Pentacles, oh yeah. What's the energy around my Scorpio? Single and in charge, seven of wands. Scorpio, what happened? Not that I'm mad about this. And actually, I have a Scorpio rising, so this is resonating even for me. With this Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody who is large and in charge, baby. With that Nine of Pentacles, this is single energy. Some of you guys may be single or recently got made single. But what I will say about this, Scorpio, look at that. You see those flowers? They're fully bloomed. This is really good, so I feel like... You guys have opportunities coming in. Some of you guys are going to be starting a business. And if that's not the case, because it's not more so that I'm getting that. I'm just getting someone that's self-sufficient. With this Seven of Wands, though, um, this is a very defensive energy. Um, you guys could be feeling like you want to defend your territory. Maybe you're fighting for something. Fighting for something that you believe is right. Fighting for something that you feel is owed to you. This could be fighting for your respect. I keep hearing stepping on people's necks. The thing about this is... Scorpio, y'all know I say this in every reading because this is the message, the stepping on people's necks and not letting people play with you. I just feel like you are very firm when it comes to your boundaries. Um, and some of you guys are in this energy, even if y'all are with somebody, which is kind of concerning. You're coming up as single, so I feel like this is a very selfish energy, but it's a good selfish. Why the Seven of Wands for my Scorpios? Why the Chariot and the Knight of Cups, baby? Yeah. This is the thing, what led to this? This is like beautiful. I feel like what led to this, y'all had an aha moment with this Knight of Swords. Y'all could have even gotten into an argument with someone. I feel like there was a tough battle that took y'all out your feelings and got you into more of this logical, like, you know what, I'm about to start living for me. And ever since then, you ain't been the same since. With this Chariot card, this is someone who is moving forward by any means necessary, regardless of what happened, regardless of any emotional situations that might not have went um, as you wanted them to. You are charging towards your happiness by any means necessary. Why does Knight of Swords for my Scorpio? We have the Ace of Wands and we have the Six of Swords. What didn't work out for my Scorpios? Okay, so y'all, who the fuck is this? The swords energy. Some of you guys were dealing, I keep getting like an air sign. There's a lot of air. We have a knight of swords, a king of swords, and we have an emperor. 
it's very stiff um but hold on y'all hold on there's a lot of Aquarius energy coming through here six of swords let me look I just feel like for some of y'all maybe nothing crazy happened I just feel like y'all just bossed up one day I don't know maybe the Capricorn energy that was flowing through something with the planets who knows you know check your chart but also with this Knight of Swords to the King of Swords this is just the elevation in mindset maturity and how you think maturity and how you see life okay and with this seven of swords i feel like you guys are in this it's like i'm gonna go get it by any means necessary but it's a lot of strategy that is that aquarius mixed with that scorpio trust me i know that's a sneaky energy this is someone who's gonna get it by any means very fixed or very fixed very focused but no one is truly ever gonna know what they have planning plotting going on um, and I feel like it's not a bad energy. I just feel like y'all have had this spark, this drive, that passion, five, five, five on the clock. But this is what it's giving with this Ace of Wands. I'm going to pull another card. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, this is just a burst of energy, a change of heart, um, more expression. Um, some of y'all been doing spell work. It's like there's just a fire that got lit up under your ass. I don't know. I don't know how this happened, but and I'm feeling it in my chest. And now you're like, you know what? I gotta go get it by any means. With this Six of Swords, this is Lord of Earned Success. Y'all have been through the dirt and the mud. And I feel like whatever it is that you guys are walking into is owed. This is something that you've worked hard for. I feel like a lot of things have happened to you. Especially for my Scorpios. Y'all are commonly people who are going to learn hard lessons. Um, they always say wherever your Scorpio placements are, pay attention. Because that's normally where the lesson is going to be learned. I mean, like in Venus, you might learn hard lessons in love or be the lesson in love. So it's just a lot coming through here, but I'm here for it. I mean, we have hella cardinal energy. And even though Virgo is a mutable sign, like all the earth signs, I don't see any of them as mutable. Like I don't, <laughs> you know, well, I don't see Virgo as mutable. That's still someone who's very focused, focused on the details, focused on the outcome, not missing no steps. They're like reading over everything, the fine print. This is someone who is very in their power. I love this for you. Emperor and the Ace of Wands. Why the Ace of Wands for my Scorpio? I love this. The Last Judgment. Okay. <laughs> Some of you guys had a wake-up call. Could have been a rude awakening. What was the wake-up call for my Scorpios? Um, and the reason why I'm doing it like this, y'all, because this may be coming towards you. So I do feel like there was some type of injustice. This could have been a wake-up call with love, someone treating you wrong. Like I said, something not working out. There was a fire lit up under that ass. And it's like, with this two of wands, it forced you. I don't know why some, I just heard you forced me to have to. What do people say that you forced me to have to raise my hand or pull my hand? I don't know what the saying is, you know. But anyway, um, with the two of wands... I just feel like something, mm, let me ask, why does two of wands keep coming out? Because I'm, I'm getting multiple storylines. Three of swords, yeah. Some of you guys, it could have been a relationship, third party situation. There could have been a loss, a death. There could have been something that didn't work out. It's some type of heartbreak for some of you guys. This could have been betrayal, um, something. You are that flower. Are you looking at this? Let me see. You see that flower right there and that sword going right through? The truth hurts, honey, but that truth is what sets you free, okay? So if there's anything that you guys are holding on to, it could even be pain. Try to alchemize that. Use that as the fuel. I know that might sound a little toxic, but I don't mean it like that. But let that fuel you to move forward but like almost not just don't just work off of hatred and, and anger no that's not what I mean but like let's say if I'm mad I will sit in here and I will dance and I will release that anger or sometimes when I'm angry as fuck um I'll start manifesting but it's not like bad stuff it's just like let's say a new car do this but I'm so mad that I can feel it so then I shift the focus like there's just a way and everybody's gonna be different you're just being asked to alchemize whatever pain you're holding on to and use that to strategize your next move I don't know what that's about but it's coming through ten of wands hard work pays off y'all been through the dirt and the mud you deserve this Scorpio okay so let's see what is happening in career for my Scorpio? Career messages for my Scorpio. Career messages for my Scorpio. Love messages for my Scorpio. Hidden energies for my Scorpio. What's this hidden energy for my Scorpios? Mm. Mm. Okay, let's start over here. Career, King of Pentacles. I'm not even concerned. I'm not even concerned. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm not concerned. Let me see if there's any advice. Like, this is someone who has it already. Some of y'all already have it or you're walking into it. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Princess of Wands. Yes. 
You're going to get it. Some of you guys, if you want to do anything that is, I don't know, you guys have like this very sexual energy around you or this very, I guess it's giving me this, I'm getting the vibe from this book, The Art of Seduction. Y'all have this very seductive energy around you. So all I'm going to say is y'all could actually use that to give business opportunities. I'm not telling you guys to do that. But even if you guys are just pretty beautiful or you just have this aura, there's an aura around you that's working in your favor. So if you notice that people will pay for your drinks or people just offer you opportunities or people, um, I don't want to say pity you, but like they're like, I don't know why this just came to my head. But like a lot of people call me adorable. We just had this whole little conversation on my um, Instagram and I don't know if that makes them feel like they have to like protect me or do stuff for me. So they do. There's something here that it's like you guys don't have to do all the work even though I feel like you guys are going to anyway because that's just in your nature you're gonna get it but there's people that are gonna come in and help you but I just feel like you guys are gonna be very abundant I do see something new here with this princess of wands or the princess of wands yes ace of swords six of cups you guys are having a whole epiphany this is beautiful we haven't gotten really any bad cards um there are a lot of pages like page energy so with the Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, this is new. Some of you guys are going to be starting something over, starting something fresh. Um, white canvas, something that you used to want to do, something that you're nostalgic about. And honey, go after it because it's bringing you hella money, okay? Going into love, we have the universe. Why the universe? Some of you guys have already completed the cycle. You're done. You're over it. You are now in your power. There could have been a fire sign that was keeping some, um, mm, keeping some secrets, okay? Still may be keeping some secrets. And I just feel like you guys are at a place where you may love this person, want to be with this person, but it's just too much. It's not set in stone, you know. Sometimes, you know, let's be real, it's gonna be a little bit of a control freak. People with Scorpio placements, you know what I'm saying? But it's like you, this is too unpredictable for you. So some of you guys are choosing to close this chapter and move along. For others, um, if you guys know your relationship is good, what I'm seeing here with this universe is that you and your relationship have reached a new level, and it's almost like you guys are feeling more attractive. Um, ugh, I want to, I'm trying to make it positive, y'all, but I don't know, it's like I can't, let me see, I'm trying, hold on, for some of you guys, like, you know, this may not be your message, because I don't want to force, let me see, why the moon, because that moon is really throwing me off, yeah, no, um, I'm sorry, scratch all of that, it, this is not the greatest message, this is either someone who recently just broke up with someone, or, like, this is secret, so, ah, uh, okay, I don't know, let me see, with this universe, yeah, back to the first thing that I said, that's how I feel about that, or I just feel also, um, for some of you guys, there's just this energy of like, I just heard won't start no stuff, won't be no stuff. There might be a lot of people that want you because it's Queen of Wands energy. You're exuding sexual energy, magical energy, very beautiful, very magical, mystical, in your power, boom, boom, get it by any means, right? But with this moon card and this ten of swords, either you guys are exuding this confidence and maybe on the inside there is still some hurt that you're dealing with or you're still working through that betrayal. Um, that's one thing, but also I just, I keep getting this standoffish energy. It's hard for me to pick up on what exactly this is, and I feel like that's because you guys are kind of standoffish with love right now, because there's just been too many, I just heard too many discrepancies. There's been too many things that haven't been working in your favor, so right now I feel like you guys are mainly focused on bringing yourself up and elevating yourself, and that is going to bring a lot of options towards you, okay? We do have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Hidden Energies. Mm. Mm. Let me see. Hidden energies. That's interesting. Some of you guys are going to get something that you wanted, but then when you get it, you're going to find out it's actually not what, really what you want. <laughs> you're like, you know what? I don't think I really wanted this. And then you're going to be like, there's someone that was trying to give you advice on this, and you're going to be like, damn, they told me. So I don't know. That's for some of you guys. What is this hidden energy? Um, some of you guys are going to have to make a sacrifice around something that you really wanted. What is their advice with this? I'm trying to see. There's a lot of water energy here. King of Swords. Why the Two of Swords in reverse? Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's some weird something here. Some of y'all want to revisit. It's like the total opposite of the uh, love message that I just gave, but this is hidden energies. Some of you guys might be wanting to revisit an air sign. There's a lot of air energy coming through your chart. Aquarius. Um, I see that here. It's giving me that, oh my gosh, this is giving me that scenario that I thought of earlier where I was like, you know, you want to get back with somebody, but then as soon as you pick up the phone, you're like, oh, I got the courage to like talk to them. It's like, oh, you're blocked. Um, I don't know. I see there being a back and forth. Some of you guys are going to be unblocked from this person. Um, 
Yeah, I this I think this has to do with love, you guys. So you may be reconnecting with someone. Um, or someone may want to reconnect with you. It's so crazy though because with the world card being in reverse, maybe someone feels like, oh, oh, you know, that just got someone gets somebody, they get it, they get this person, and then they're like, you know what, this ain't even all this cracked up to be. I keep seeing uh Kobe with the trophy, and y'all ever see the meme where they're like, you know, what is a meme when you got the trophy but then you find out she annoying or something? I don't know. There's just something that I feel like you guys are going to be fighting for, finally get, and you're like, damn, I really didn't want that. So that might be why that energy was coming through of spirit, like, trying to block this and kind of get you to, you know, kind of let this go. But if you guys keep trying to come after it, they're like, you know what, let's just give it to them. And then it's like, oh, now I see why spirit was doing that. Anything else for my Scorpios? Scorpio, someone right in Venus. We have blame, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So um, there may be, need to be a reflection around where you were wrong, where this person was wrong, and then make peace with that purpose. I know what I'm here to do, and that's just what it's giving, um, Scorpio. I see really good energy around you, a lot of abundance. I'm not even concerned or needing to really go further. This is really good. Let me see what your advice is, advice to move forward for my Scorpios. We have welcome the divine masculine, boom, creator, air. That's so cre that's so crazy. There's a lot of air energy. So like a lot of intellect. Nourish the sacred feminine. Wow. Welcome the divine masculine and nourish the sacred feminine. I mean, come on now. Find balance. Your I don't know what's happening in you guys' lives, but it seems like it's very big. We also have judgment here, which is giving me um judgment in tarot. Um, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I feel like you guys are maturing and you're looking at things from a different perspective and you're like, that's their journey. Yeah, it was fucked up, but that's just what it is. You're looking at things in a more optimistic way and more of a higher thing for my people that, uh, you know, are into tarot. It's like more mature. This is someone who is able to look at things from a more mature place. I also see good karma coming in because um, a lot of y'all karma didn't already played out. Because uh, I don't think some of y'all was always the one in the right. You know, that's for all of us. But I feel like you're just being asked to use your mind more than your feelings, okay? And as you're doing so, remember to balance the masculine and feminine energy out as you're going along because it's going to help you to stay grounded. So, yes, Scorpio, that was your reading. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys down below in the comments.